we have Australian artists, we have French artists, we have our artists uh, who are born in China, and also we have uh, Hong Kong based artists. We embrace all kinds of research topics and all kinds of expressions. Hello, my name is Vera Lam, Director of Heart. Welcome to Heart House. Started in 2018, Heart is a not-for-profit initiative to foster a good collaboration and sustainable art ecosystem in Hong Kong. We are actually offering an experimental platform for all Hong Kong-based emerging artists, practitioners and researchers uh, within Hong Kong, and also for international collaborations exchanges. Heart House is actually a flagship social studio program in this 10,000 square feet space located in Kennedy Town. Mainly we're covering contemporary art in Hong Kong. So um, contemporary art can be expressed in so many different ways. So we have uh, currently we have 22 artists as a residency and we don't really mind whether they're artistically trained. We think that the help with them is to have really frequent and closely dialogues and also exchange. We don't really have a, a certain fixed criteria, but each year we have a selection of uh, different disciplines. We're hoping to uh, contribute to a richer dialogue with, uh, between the artists and because we would actually incubate them. Uh, I think Six Beginnings for this exhibition name is very interesting. Six Beginnings means that we're actually featuring six Hong Kong artists who were born in after 1990s. Here we can see a work by our new joined um, heart artist Liao Jiaming. Liao Jiaming is actually born in Guangdong. This is a very interesting work because he's been actually using AI with, into his works. How innovative is it, right? So he's actually based on um, a dating app Um, this is the artwork that I'm exhibiting in The Six Beginnings and the title of this work is The Unceasing Night. In this artwork, it is mounted by a traditional Chinese mountain method which combines the eight pages of painting into a single album. And in this work, I have my own carved seals and my calligraphy and my painting all in one. And in this work, I have cited uh, the poem Gim Ga from Si Geng. This poem is about something that is unreachable. Even though we have used a lot of effort to chase after something that we desire for, art is important to me because I think it's an embodiment of a personal virtue. I believe it is, this is what we lack in the modern world. Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Shira. And we are now a part-time artist in Hard House, but we actually both graduated in Hong Kong Baptist University and we study visual arts together. It's lucky that Hart have noticed us in our graduation show and give us an opportunity in here to continuing our work. And our central theme is actually about futuristic imagination towards Hong Kong or even the world and we actually include many uh, ideas about uh, social um, uncertainties and then also we also included about uh, issues about uh, artificial intelligence. And for this exhibition we have created a video projection and audience need to sit on the chair to experience the whole art form. And as the audience are sitting over there they can feel all the city and how everything is moving and as you can see this is a, a TV, a CCTV. CCTV and they can feel how the city is going on. We call it the binocular and because we want the audience like a security guide and see the CCTV and watch this society in this high stressful society, especially in Hong Kong. And art is a kind of spiritual satisfaction, I think. And also, the yeah, people can't work all days and they need to express or have a brief. And we want to highlight the relationship between the AI robot and human. Yeah. 
And for that, we want to move on about the artificial intelligence, and we would like to talk about uh, artificial intelligence painting, which is very hit now. I think if we didn't get the ch the chance here, and um, we might not continue our creation from our uh, graduation, graduation show. show because uh, what we're doing is actually installation and it needs a place to like showcase. I've created a few exhibitions. I've been involved in many different scales of exhibitions, large scale institution, even at social studios uh, scale uh, exhibitions. I have been work in the curatorial field for the last 10 years, especially with a curatorial experience at M Plus. I'm hoping to bring the same and seeing like heart as a community and we can actually um, inject more uh, collaborations, also exhibitions and um, I hope to use my experience to foster them and to offering um, un like unconditional uh, mentorship. New upcoming or uprising artists, um, this is also an opportunity for them because in Hong Kong the rental price is very high. Um, not a lot of people can afford to rent their own studio for young artists or maybe even um, we don't have space um, to do some work at home. So think about that uh, for Chinese ink painting, maybe um, if someone wants to do a big painting, they may need to do that bad base to do the painting. Especially in the, um, the present economic and political situations in Hong Kong, we need more nourishment and we need more harmony, true harmony. And I think cross Bangjuri arch like what we have seen today is instrumental. So moving forward, I think um, it should be uh, how much we could support to the artists and probably the mentorship and uh, more intimate exchanges within the artists, between the artists and international colleagues that uh, hopefully to mentor them a little bit more on their artistic development. Here's like um, our Damien Boylan's work. He's actually, um, he studied aerospace engineering. He's a scientist and he's also very interested in working in everyday materials and also industrial materials. Here's a perfect example of our Australian artists who are based in Singapore and now in Hong Kong. Her name is Marin Trevithan. So Marion's work is actually composite of different vibrant colors and also uh, cityscapes that she finds actually similarities between Singapore and Hong Kong. How we actually supported her is that we have been working to, uh, with her on different uh, workshops that she discovers uh, with her own artistic medium. Let's say she's been working on um, image transfers and also on acrylic uh, base workshops. She's also been uh, teaching uh, part-time, teaching uh, acrylic workshop part-time. We try to find like uh, collaborations with like uh, different institutions, companies for their uh, commission works. And also uh, sometimes uh, hopefully we'll find some funding uh, for like, um, for a very interesting workshop with the general public. This will contribute to a continuous, sustainable, uh, artistic, creative environment in Hong Kong. I wouldn't say that there is no future for Hong Kong arts community because it's also always that and we're so hopeful that um, since the border is opening and uh, the COVID policy is more relaxing, we're hoping to contribute more cultural dialogues and we're planning on international artist exchanges too. It's just, it's one unique, one special vibe.